Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you QImage Ultimate and how it handles raw photos, particularly the lightning raw and how the thumbnails are built. Basically, we just want to show how QImage Ultimate handles raw files and what you should expect when you're shooting raw photos and using them in QImage Ultimate. Here I've prepared a directory of eight raw photos just to give you an example of how this works. And up here you'll see I have a folder called New Raws. And what I've done is I've copied these eight raw photos into this New Raws folder and QImage has not seen these raw files in this new folder yet. So I'm going to click on this new folder and it will be showing you how QImage deals with raw photos that it's never seen, it's never built thumbnails or the cache for yet. So let's click on this and you'll see that it builds the thumbnails pretty quickly and then once the thumbnails are built there's a second stage up here if you look where my mouse is it's saying building raw cache. And What that means is it builds the thumbnails first so you can add them to the page, uh, arrange them however you want. You can do things with them and keep on working. But while you're doing that, see up here it's done already. It's built the raw cache, which means it's already developed all of these photos and cached them. There's really no reason to develop the raw photo each time you touch it, each time you view it, each time you print it. So it's already done that and now it's finished with it. So now if I hold my mouse over this thumbnail and I press the space bar, the image opens almost instantly. Now this is not typical of what you would normally see for a raw file. They would normally take some time to develop, but as you can see, these open right away with no delay at all. And even if I wanted to go in and double click and edit this in the image editor, uh, the full image, full resolution opens right away. There's no delay. And that's because QImage Ultimate has already built the cache associated with these and there's no need to redevelop them again. The one exception is they will get rebuilt. The cache must be rebuilt whenever the raw photo is changed. So let's click on this one and refine raw exposure. We went over the uh, refining process in a different video. But I'm going to take uh, this photo and I'm going to change the white balance on it. I'm going to click to get a new white balance and then I'm going to say done. Now, as you can see, this raw photo right here has to be rebuilt. So it took a few seconds to recache that raw and now if I spacebar, opens it right away. So you can see how the raw cache works. Basically it develops your raw photo and it knows whenever the raw needs to be developed and any other time including printing it's not going to redevelop it because it's already done it once uh, and it speeds things up dramatically. Let me uh, do that one more time so you can see the two stages. I'm going to clear the queue here. Um, let me go up here to view and if I click rebuild thumbs it's going to start over from scratch. It'll rebuild the thumbnails and then rebuild the raws. So I'm going to click this and then watch where my mouse goes right here. You'll see it says building thumbs. And again the thumbs are built pretty quickly. And you can see now that a second stage has started. Building raw cache. So it's building, it says one of eight, it's building the raw for this one. Now it's already to number five, so it's down here building this raw. And up here you can see when it's done, this building raw cache, six of eight, seven of eight, now it's done. All of the raw cache has been built and your lightning raw is now uh, fully online and ready to go. Space bar, double click to edit, all of these open almost instantly. And this just shows you the different phases of raw development. Uh, once again, if I go out of this folder, let me go to uh, uh, have a folder here where 
I have different types of resolution tests. Now I'll go back to the raw folder that we were just using. When I click, you can notice up here, nothing's done. That's because it's already been done. All of these raws have already been built, the thumbnails have already been built, and they just display nearly instantly. So that shows you the difference between when you click on a folder that has new raw photos that Q Image Ultimate has not seen. It showed you the two, this video has shown you the two stages of development. It builds the raw so you can immediately start to work with them. And then it builds the cache so that you don't have to keep redeveloping these photos each time you use them or print them. So I hope this has been helpful in what you can expect when you are dealing with raw photos in QImage Ultimate. And uh, raw is a, a great tool to use, so I hope this will allow you to use raw more efficiently. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.